Well, in 2019, you guys were some heavy shoppers, I'm not gonna lie. So this past week, I've done an analytics deep dive on my blog and on Instagram, and I found out the top 10 products that you swiped up on, that you bought, that you clicked on, that you wanted to know more about, that you left comments on, that you reviewed. And in today's video, I am sharing with you all of them. So here it is. Top 10 beauty products, according to you, of 2019. So number 10 is actually a newbie. It is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant. I'm surprised that this made the top 10 because I just introduced this product to y'all back in August when I tried it. And here's what I'm gonna say about deodorant. The fact that deodorant is even on this list is kind of ridiculous, but if you don't know about this deodorant and you're looking for a new deodorant, this deodorant will change your life. And I am not using that term casually, it really will. I don't think about my armpits, I don't talk about my armpits, I don't smell my armpits. The only time I really even need to discuss my armpits is when I'm telling someone how amazing this deodorant is and how my armpits just smell so lovely. So if you're in the market for a new deodorant, the proof's in the pudding. Number nine on the list is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Eye Palette. Um, I shared this on Insta Stories. I think it was October 1st. It was National Pumpkin Spice Day. And then again, it went on sale on Black Friday. And it truly is a great palette. It's good for any skin tone. I really gravitate towards these like coppery shades. So like Cinnamon Spice, Nooks and Cranberries, Slow Burn, and Pretty as a Pumpkin. But these other shades are really nice too if you want to do like a smoky eye, if you want to do a neutral eye, if you want to do a copper eye, if you want to do a holiday eye. It really is a great palette to have kind of in your eyeshadow arsenal. Number eight on the list, it's the concealer that kind of changed my life this year. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. The thing that I love about this one as opposed to most traditional full coverage concealers is this has a dewy finish, but it's full coverage. It's so rare that you find a product that is dewy, but covers it all. Also, it doesn't give you those creases, it doesn't settle into fine lines, and it wears up to 12 hours. Um, I've been using this pretty exclusively for the most part when I want a full coverage, and I'm in color 2N. Well, number seven is the headband seen around the world. Yes, it's been seen around the world because it's been to Paris, it's been to Mexico, it's been to Amsterdam. Where else has it been? It went to Cabo. It's been everywhere. So last year when I got my ears re-pierced, I kind of went like psycho on the headbands because I felt like since I couldn't wear earrings, while my stitches healed in my ears, I needed like some sort of party happening on my head. So I just really went all in on the headbands. Um, this one, I probably wore too much. I gave it about a three month rest for this fall period, but I've reintroduced it <laughs> this holiday season. And I just love to see that y'all love it as much as I do. It's by Lily Sudu, Suduhi, Sudohi. I'm sorry, ma'am, I don't know how to say your last name. It's available still on Revolve. It's silk. I've actually washed it twice in the washing machine and it's held up really well. But it's just an easy way to just spruce up any casual look or even dressy look for the holidays. Number six on the list is the only device that made the top 10. And this device really, if you read any review about it, go to any department store, any beauty store, they sell this product. It's the Beauty Bio Glow Pro. It's a micro needling tool. Um, what you do with this is every night after you wash your face, you do this on your skin, roll it on your skin, micro needle your skin. It creates tiny little punctures. You do it for about 60 seconds. Um, and then it's going to help open up your pores so that they can better absorb your really expensive serums and moisturizers. The owner of the Glow Pro, her name's Jamie O'Banion. Her skin speaks for itself. Also, if you go to their website and look at the before and afters of people who have started incorporating this, this is the only thing they change in their beauty regimen how their skin really does transform. And it's amazing to think that you can keep using the exact same products and just incorporate this in and completely change the integrity of your skin. Okay, we're coming up on the top five. These are the top five beauty products according to you of 2019. Number five, you guys just, I, this product I am obsessed with. Burnt Raisin Estee Lauder Lipstick. It's the color I'm wearing right now. And this is the color that pretty much started my deep-rooted love of the sponge tip applicator for lipstick, really because you can control exactly where you put it on your lip and it kind of almost treats it as a lip liner also. This color's a stain. It will stay on all day. Looks great on so many different skin tones. I've seen girls with darker skin wear this. I've seen girls with more pale skin wear this. You can have cool undertones. You can have warm undertones. Um, it kind of does it all for every single skin tone. It's a little bit pink. It's a little bit purple. It's a little bit mauve. It's a little bit dusty. It's a little bit brown. It's a little bit nude. It's a little bit of everything, and it's absolutely perfect. Number four on the list, well... <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm keeping Colleen Rothschild in business with the purchase of this product alone. It's the face oil number nine. I go through about a bottle of this a month. I'm 
that's kind of embarrassing to say. I just love it so much. I wear it in the morning, I wear it at night, I can wear it to the gym, I can wear it by itself, I can wear it under makeup. It's truly my holy grail face oil because it absorbs well into the skin, but doesn't disappear, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't absorb and then you're like, wait, did I even put moisturizer on my skin? You still feel that hydrated, that hydrated touch, but it, it's not slippery. Um, it's so hydrating, you can layer it with another moisturizer, either underneath or on top, if you want even more intense moisture. I truly can't live without this product just because it's one of the only oils I've ever tried that doesn't break out my sensitive skin. I've talked about this with y'all, if I try a product, I can know within 24 hours if my skin loves it or hates it. My skin never has hated this. And if you're somebody that struggles with rosacea like I do, sometimes oils can really bring out that redness, those undertones, and this, for me, really calms my skin. So if you are in the market for a new face oil um, and you're someone whose skin maybe is like mine, I would definitely give this a try. Okay, we're coming up on the top three. Number three is the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer by IT Cosmetics. Kind of piggybacking on what I was just saying about rosacea, the founder of this product has a lot of redness in her skin. And one thing that really made me initially try IT Cosmetics a couple years ago was she did a split screen where she showed one half of her face without this and the other half with it. That's a good idea. I might do that on my Instagram just to show you guys on stories because I do have rosacea and it, I keep it at bay with like food that I eat, like super spicy foods make it more red. Wine makes my face bright red. Dairy makes my face red. So I, I figured out how to manage it on the back end. But with makeup, this is one of the only foundations for me that isn't so heavy and thick and drying. It still feels hydrating and light to touch. To find something that looks dewy and glowy but yet is full coverage is next to impossible. Um, and so it is kind of similar to that Estee Lauder Radiant Glow Concealer that it covers it all, but it doesn't feel gross and suffocating my skin. Also has an SPF 50, so it takes out the sunscreen step in the morning for me. And just my skin has never reacted poorly to this. It's never clogged my pores. Um, so once again, if your skin is like mine, sensitive, rosacea, but you want full coverage, but you don't want something that's really drying and matte, it cosmetics. Number two, I'm not gonna lie, surprised me, but then I remembered how many of you responded so positively like I did, so then I was like, well, duh, of course this made the list. It's the Too Faced Born This Way, um, the powder foundation. I shared this product back, and I think it was either June or July when it was 9,000 degrees outside. I looked like a grease pit nonstop. I wanted full coverage, but sometimes like the hydrating things just would slip right off your face. This kind of came at the most perfect time for me. I took this to Mexico also, and it was just a major game changer. I use the color, I think it's medium beige, natural beige. I apply it with the Mr. Perfect foundation brush. Like I said, if you're somebody who's super oily, who lives in a humid climate, who struggles with feeling like you're always looking greasy, definitely give this a shot. I've also layered it before. Um, you can layer it, so if I do my whole face with the It Cosmetics, I can use this to kind of just set those T-zone areas and really make sure that I don't get too shiny. And number one, you guys, you could probably guess what number one is. Anyone? Yeah, you guessed it. It's the Colleen Ross Child Intense Hydrating Mask. If you haven't bought this and you follow me, I don't really know what you're waiting for because this product is just one of the best things that my skin has ever found. I can use a little bit of it under my eyes and treat it as an eye cream. I can sleep in it and use it as an overnight mask. I can put it on when I'm on a plane. That was kind of the first time I introduced this to y'all and it was like the mask that just lit the internet on fire. Colleen Rothschild actually told me once that they had at one point thought about discontinuing this mask. I shared that Insta Instagram uh, tutorial on stories about how I use it on a plane and she was like, okay, I guess we're gonna keep that in stock. So you guys loved this clearly as much as I did. Just the response to this product is so overwhelming and if you don't believe me, go read the reviews on her website. There's pages and pages and pages of them about how many people love this mask as much as I do. Well, there you have it, guys. It is the top 10 beauty products according to you of 2019. You guys bought these, you swiped up on these, you clicked on these, and you loved them as much as I did. So, cheers to 2020. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of curious if any of these products will make it to the top 10 beauty products of 2020, but I'm sure we'll fall in love with something new. There'll be another eye palette. 
Hopefully there won't be another lipstick. I don't, I want all these products to stay with me for, maybe we'll have to, maybe next year we'll have to do 20 products. Who knows? Anyways, you guys have been the best. I've loved sharing all these with you this year. Have such a great Christmas. Have such a great New Year's and we'll see you in 2020.